just going to do a quick update video and I'm going to get right to it. First off, I'm going to show you guys my salmon pink tarantula. She molted once and is growing pretty good. So I upgraded her to a six quart and she loves spilling her water. You can see right there, it's all dark. Have her in sphagnum peat moss and perlite. Um, I heard that perlite doesn't really it doesn't hurt them at all so and this is like the only thing that I had right now cuz um, I used to have some carnivorous plants but if I'm wrong um, you guys just comment down below so I can make the changes quick but she's doing pretty good in here next I'll show you guys my female Dalmatian um, partial pin Harlequin She's the one that's usually fired down and barely fires up for me. Right now, I'll check her weight, hoping that she doesn't run away. And it's gonna be difficult for her. <laughs> She's 29 grams. Yeah, 29 grams. I have her in this little 10 gallon setup with uh, scorched PVC. So far, I haven't seen any health issues because sometimes it rubs off in some areas. But she seems to be doing fine with it, so um, I haven't made any changes to her tank. It's actually cleaning day for me because these tanks are getting dirty. Next up is my male red bicolor Dalmatian. Uh, hopefully he doesn't yeah he's really he's not in good mood right now <laughs> there he is he's actually pretty squirmy which he's he's usually not but I don't know I don't know what's maybe today's gonna be a full moon I'm not sure and he is Sorry about that. My gecko's not cooperating. Let's see. He's supposed to be 30. 33 grams. Sorry about that, guys. And he's kind of fired up right now. He's the one that's always fired up and usually never fired down. And she is the opposite. I'm going to put him back because he kind of got mad. And as you can see here, I cleaned up my rack. Everything's a lot better. I have um, this little plant light for some sphagnum moss that, I've grown, that I'm growing. From what I've heard, uh, you can grow it from the spores that it creates. So I chop those spores up and I put them in there. Hopefully... We'll get some, I'll get some um, growing within a month or so. And a bigger one here for when I get a lot more. I actually ordered a Drosera spatulata or a spoon leaf sundew and some Drosera capensis um, wide leaf. So here I'm thinking of getting a snake. So I've had this already, but I'm going to make some adjustments here and maybe get a hog nose. I'm not sure. If all goes well. And I also put heat cable over here for anything else that I want to put. Right there too you can see. Um, and this is uh, from my 29 gallon. I'm probably going to put it there. So that'll be good. And that's all I have right now. It's all my updates. But... Next video I'll be doing is going to be on my carnivorous plants because I did order from California Carnivores. Thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, subscribe.